Guys, Ninja Kiwi just dropped a huge Battles 2 video, and after going through it frame by frame, pixel by pixel, I'm gonna review everything I noticed. To start, we have Sam with a new hairdo. Look at this, looking sharp, all right. And then we have NK's new Dart Monkey plushie in the lower left. Then the background changes, and we have this, a clear image of this blurred one from back in August. We also have a new Battles 2 logo, which it's, it's great, it's fantastic, it's much more vibrant than this one. Also, these are the rules of the arena. I love that they did that! That edit was so fun! It's so good! Okay, anyway. We then get to this screen, and there's a ton of information here. I'm not gonna restate information we already knew, as this screen is very similar to the screenshot from back in May, but we now know of a new arena, Red Balloon Camp, with an animated background. You can see the birds, the planes, the water. It's, it's so good! And it's definitely the origin of the Battles 2 Twitter banner. And will you look at that, a new profile icon. We also now know that there will be indicators. We have three. I'm not sure about this one, but this one likely means something is on sale, and this one is... Something related to Quincy. Then we get to see what happens after a match with one of Quincy's losing animation. Look at him! He's so... Aw, he's like a sad puppy. Aw. We also know that this is Red Balloon Camp based on the background. So every arena is going to have their own end screen, which is super cool. And then we get this. This is huge, all right? One weird thing in Battles 1 is how medallions do everything, you know? They're, they're your trophies, your money, and those should not be the same thing, and they fixed that here. We also have this new shield thing. I don't... I don't know. Also, look at this. That That's kind of cursed. Then we get to see arenas. We have Red Bloom Camp, Yellow Stadium, White Wasteland, Lead Dungeon, Serant Crucible, and what is likely Moab Pit. And yeah, go to the comments and type an F for Rainbow Ruins. We also know of Beefy Coliseum from past screenshots. Wins will earn you one trophy and two on a win streak. Even though that seems small, it makes sense given that arenas are only 10 trophies apart. Next, here's the yellow stadium background and we get to see what happens with No Lives Lost, First Blood, and Win Streak. If we compare it to Red Balloon Camp, it looks like you get the same amount of trophies, monkey money, and shields. No Lives Lost awards an extra shield. First Blood, which is caused by making your opponent leak first, gives an extra 5 monkey money and 1 shield. And then we have Win Streak, which is caused by winning 3 games in a row. It awards 1 extra trophy, and think about this, alright? Pretend you're going from Lead Dungeon to Serant Crucible, alright? 10 trophies. If you have a Win Streak, you could move on in 5 games, but without a Win Streak, it's gonna take 10, plus regaining all the trophies that you lost. And so if you can keep that Win Streak, you can get trophies a lot faster. Also, if you slow it down, you can see this, all right? This is the XP that was mentioned in a blog post way back. We have 385 for Gwen and zero for the Dart Monkey. There's enough room for two more towers, so you likely get XP for towers that you brought, but it's weird that they got zero XP. Maybe you don't get XP if you don't place or don't pop balloons with a tower. Sam also says that you can't buy trophies, which yeah, like this is a skill-based game, let's go. But also he mentions arena promotions. Like what does that mean? Perhaps there's events where you get more trophies for playing. Now, once you get to hundred trophies, you get into the hall of masters. Look at this arena, looky, look at this arena. It's so cool. And this person gets 50,000 monkey money. You get like 30 monkey money per game. Like that is ridiculous right there. And now we have this chest icon here. This is our first look at a chest in battles too. Then we have this screen. Welcome to the hall of masters. Like you you guys can read it, but basically, this is an ELO system where you win more against higher ranked opponents and win less against lower ranked opponents. And then to place you, there's three placement games. This is super cool and super exciting for the competitive community. Also, that background, just, just spicy, like, mmm. Now we have the leaderboard. We have a title and timer in the upper right. But also, these badges are beyond cool. I want these badges so much. Also, check out these banners. Maybe you get an arena banner once you unlock that arena. We have Hall of Masters, Ceramic Crucible, Red Balloon Camp, White Wasteland, Lead Dungeon, Yellow Stadium, and this beautiful tribute to Battles 1. Like, oh my gosh. I am so happy that they did that. Like, what a cool banner. The icons are also sick. We have a Legend of the Night icon, a Patch Monkey icon, this Gwen one, Moab Mauler, the Dart Monkey one, Moab Eliminator, this Cripple Moab icon, which is so cool, and then this last one, which is Alchemist, maybe? There's like goggles on it. Now, as said before, seasons are six weeks, and you will get a badge at the end of each season, either from your highest arena or from Hall of Masters if you're up there. And if you go back to the arenas, we have what is likely the Red Balloon Camp badge, Yellow Stadium, White, Lead, Ceramic, and then we have the Moab Pit badge, which we saw back in May and look at the badges here and now that we know these badges are arena based do we have a ZOMG themed arena here next we get to see the selection screen for Hall of Masters 
It looks like you don't see your opponent's hero at first. You can only see it once you've both checked off. Also, you now select your heroes separate from selecting your towers. And yeah, let's address the coolest thing of all, these statues, they look so good. I cannot believe how- Okay, okay, we have four heroes here, all with their first BT6 skin, which is super cool. We have skins in battles too. Then, as we know, you can select your towers and taunt your opponent. Next, we see actual gameplay on Sands of Time. First thing to note is that you can send balloons on round one, all right? That's a huge difference from battles one. We also have this amazing Hall of Masters border, and yes, only tower and balloon boost, but we do not get to see what they look like yet. Finally, there's this 150 under this life count. Like, I don't know. It goes down to 62 later in the video. Next, there's some big information. You cannot scroll through the balloon selection screen. As the game goes on, you will no longer be able to send certain balloons, which is honestly okay, as you don't need to send reds on round 40. Again, we can see that balloons start spaced and become grouped over time. And then there's this spicy round number thing. Like, it's beautiful, and this likely means we'll get round numbers for every arena. Then we see some Round 34 action, $594,720 with 250 eco and zero farms. Seems legit. Also, we have indicators on the monkeys, which is super cool, as well as these ones on the side. Maybe it's a hotkey for all of them? And yes, as Sam pointed out, we have camo regrown fortified, which fortified is gonna be really interesting. Now let's talk about late game. Matches will now be capped at 40 rounds, which let's talk this out. So at round 40, the opponent with the most lives will win. If there's a tie, both players go down to one life and the game continues for 10 rounds. At round 50, Eco goes down to zero, all farms are disabled, meaning you are stuck with any cash you have in selling. Then, once round 50 is over, the game continues until one player loses or there's no balloons left on screen, in which there's a draw. And we get this new animation for Oban, look at that! So if you're trying to go late game, maybe you can rush your opponent with balloons, not to finish them off, but to continue the game going. But it does look like late game's gonna be a little bit more difficult, they're definitely making battles to a competitive game. And then we have the background music, like this is new music, and it's different than the trailer music. It sounds so good, it sounds a lot like Street Party from Bloons Monkey City. So that brings up the question, when is Battles 2 coming out? Sam says, With the launch of Battles 2 getting ever closer, with it getting ever closer. That's interesting. So November, maybe? Either way, it's likely to be out by 2021. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button and brush your teeth.